Mozart's mother, Anna Maria Walburga Pertl, was born on Christmas Day 1720 here in the former county court in St. Gilden, but she would only spend four years in her place of birth. Years later though, in 1784, her daughter and Mozart's sister, Maria Anna Walburga Ignisia, also known as Nannal, would move into this house as Baroness Berchtold zu Sonnenburg. Mozart's grandfather, Wolfgang Nikolaus Pertl, was born on the 6th of December 1667 in Salzburg. In 1686 he entered St. Peter's Grammar School to prepare for university and often appeared as a singer in theatre performances also. After Pertl graduated from the University of Salzburg, he soon became a successful lawyer. He was a clerk in the state archiepiscopal treasury in Salzburg in 1706, and by 1712 he was secretary to the court chamber. In the same year, Pertl married the widow Eva Rosina Barbara Puxbaum, and the young couple moved to St. Ande in the Levant Valley in 1714, where he was appointed as official co-administrator. Soon after, in 1716, Pertl became the magistrate of St. Gilden, and between 1719 and 1720, the county court in St. Gilden, which was deemed in dire need of renovation, was completely rebuilt under his guidance. Here, in the magistrate's court in St. Gilden, Anna Maria Walburga Pertl was born on December 25, 1720, and baptized on the same day in the nearby church of St. Agidius. Following the death of her father in 1724, she moved with her mother and sister to Salzburg. There, grown up into a young woman, she married Leopold Mozart, a violinist and conductor from Augsburg on the 21st of November 1747. Of the seven children she bore, only two survived, Maria Anna Walburga Ignisia, Nanna, and Wolfgang Amadeus. The siblings grew up child prodigies under the musical guidance of their father and nurturing care of their mother, and together they traveled all across Europe, performing before the most powerful sovereigns and intellectuals of the day. Nannal Mozart was an extraordinarily gifted and praised pianist, but was always overshadowed by her brother Wolfgang Amadeus. Her musical career ended early as a young woman when she reached a marriageable age with 17. Women in the 18th century were excluded from many professions, and she stopped performing altogether. She followed the path that was expected of her. On the 23rd of August 1784, she married a successor to the post of her grandfather, the Baron Johann Baptist Berchtold zu Sonnenburg, and moved to St. Gilden into the county court, Ischlerstraße No. 15. Here she helped her husband to raise his five children from previous marriages, and she bore three more. But she didn't quit music. Locally, she became an esteemed music teacher and pianist, and after her brother's untimely death at the age of 35, she worked closely with publishers to correctly identify Wolfgang's musical repertoire. Her own compositions, unfortunately, did not survive, but her important contribution to the preservation of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's legacy lives on. Maria Anna moved back to Salzburg after her husband's death in 1801, at the end of her life, she lost her eyesight to an illness, and following her death on the 29th of October 1829, she was buried in a communal grave of St. Peter's Churchyard.